the graveyard shift. A dark and twisted true story. It was 2 a.m. on a Sunday night and I was working the late night shift. I hated working that time of night for two good reasons. One, it was boring as hell because we barely got any customers that came in at that time. Two, the ones we did have come in were very strange people. And my workplace being two blocks away from the mental hospital made matters worse. Much worse. Anyways, one night as I was bent down stocking the shelves, I heard someone walk in. But when I rose to my feet to greet them, there was no one there. I had sworn I heard footsteps as well, but I guess I was so bored out of my mind, I must have conjured up sounds in my imagination. Then the phone rang, which was not unusual because that was the time my girlfriend called to talk to me, to keep me company. But after I picked the phone up and said hello, it was not her voice on the other end. It was a man's voice. I'm watching you, he said. Excuse me, I replied. I am watching you, he repeated. But this time, in a more stern voice. I didn't even bother replying to him. I just hung the phone up and went about my business thinking it was just some sort of prank. Then it rang again. Hello, I said. Don't fucking hang up the phone on me again, he said angrily. But I did. Then the phone rang again. Listen here, asshole, I yelled. Oh my God, are you okay? Said my girlfriend on the other end. It felt as if a billion bricks was lifted off of my chest. After our call, I decided to take a bathroom break. After I was done, I returned to the front of the store, only to find a man sitting on top of the counter. He was dressed in an all-white hospital gown and had an ice pick in his hand. The creepy, chilling smile on his face was indication that this man was not sane. I told you not to fucking hang up the phone on me, didn't I? He yelled as he hopped down from the counter and started walking toward me quickly. I ran into the bathroom and locked the door behind me. I didn't have my cell phone with me or I would have called the cops. Then all of a sudden, the door was kicked in. But when the person stepped forward, it was the cops instead. I felt relieved. They said that the man had escaped from the mental hospital and had stolen someone's cell phone and they had been looking for him for two days. They said as they drove past the store, they noticed a strange man walking around suspiciously. When they went after him, he had fled out of the back door. Luckily, they caught 
up with him before he could get away. Needless to say, I never worked the late night shift ever again.